Hey everyone, it's Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 11. This one, my friends, this is a good one. We are at the end of our seven part series showing you a weaving project from start to finish. So just a quick recap, we planned our project, we got out our graph paper and our pencil and we went to town. Then we wound all of our warp yarns on the warping board, so they're the same length in order. Then we slayed the reed, so we have all of the yarns at the correct width. Then we threaded some heddles, the little metal guys there, so that we could assign a yarn to each of my four shafts in the loom. Then we wound everything on the back of the loom, got it all ready to go. And last week, we were weaving which is pure magic, as always. So today, weaving is finished, we just have to wrap it up. So, the finishing stage, I'm actually gonna show you in three parts. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do it. Our first step is to cut it off, which always takes a little leap of faith. Uh, and then we're gonna unwind it from the loom, and then I'll show you kind of the finished project product all ready to go. So why don't we just give it a try? So. I have my handy dandy scissors here, which are always seem a little dangerous around a handwoven project, but we need it in this case. So uh, you'll see that I am at the very end. I have no more space left. My shuttle won't fit through here anymore. And this, you see my little rod at the back here, right there? See that guy? That is where the whole project started. So this is this area here, which is just wasted. Um, yarn. I mean, I'll repurpose this for something else, but um, I can't fit the yarns through the loom anymore and keep them tight under tension. So that's my cue. It's time to cut it off. So at this stage, you take a big breath and then you just do it. Okay. I start right in the middle, right about here. Take my scissors, uh, cut close to the, um, the little rod there, just because you want as much space as you can for your knots. Pull it through this way. And then I like to divide it up into fairly small chunks. Give it a little knot, just like that. And then pick a direction, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see here, where am I? I'll go this direction first. So the idea then is that you want to place uh, knots right up next to the fabric here. That'll kind of keep everything in place. The goal is to kind of keep my weft yarns uh, in place with the fabric as much as possible. So let me do one more here so you can see what this looks like. As it's slowly being released uh, from the loom here. I'll just make a few knots. I try not to make the knots too crazy big just because that kind of keeps the yarns closer together. All right, so see how I'm starting to release from the loom right here? I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll um, turn the camera back on and I'll show you the unwinding process, which is pretty cool too. So hold tight. All right, so here I am at the front. I've cut all of the fabric off of the loom. It's all free, ready to go, ready to unwind. And the idea is that when we started, we had all of the yarns on the back of the loom. And little by little, we kept inching it this way as we wove the fabric. So this down here is all of our project. So here's what it looks like to unwind it. I'm gonna pull, this is the front beam here. I'm gonna pull this off here. And then uh, this is my break. So I'm gonna undo the break. We've got kind of a double, double whammy there. And then it just starts to unwind. And you'll notice I've got this pretty purple here that I did at the end. But as I unroll it, you'll see the other colors that I did. And these um, yardsticks will start to um, release. So you'll hear them clattering, which is always a great sound. So here we go. So we'll just start to unwind it. As I unroll, these guys just fall out. This is when I started to get into a little bit of the yellow about 50-50, yellow and purple. Here, pretty much gold, all yellow there. A little brighter and I had some white when I started just a little bit to keep it nice and light so here we go we're coming up to the very beginning right here here's where I started 
um, what I do at the very beginning is I use um, a little bit of toilet paper just as spacers uh, before I get the fabric uh, going, the weaving part right there. So here is the rod that we started on at the very beginning and our fabric is officially free. I'm gonna unknot this next and then I will um, trim up my edges and we'll take a look at the final project. You guys, the fabric's done. It's all off the loom. It is ready to go. We have finished an entire handwoven project. You can see we started at this end with our nice light colors, light yellows. We put in a little more yellow here, a little more gold, and then we started to add a little bit of purple, a little more purple until it got into this really rich violet, uh, all these great kind of uh, royal colors, if you will. Anyways, it turned out fantastic. I'm so glad you're able to walk through this process with me. And I hope you learned a little something along the way. That would be great. So give me a like, comment, or share if you've been enjoying this series. There'll be more to come, I promise. If you want to be the first to know when new videos drop, go ahead and subscribe. In the meantime, have a great week and happy weaving.